Hey there, future data processing pros. Welcome to our course on Apache Flink. We'll unravel the fascinating world of Apache Flink, starting from the very basics and diving into some advanced topics. But first, let's introduce you to the concept of stateful stream processing. We'll explore how it's different from batch processing and why it's essential in the world of big data. All right, let's dive into Apache Flink itself. What is it? Well, Apache Flink is an open source framework designed for processing vast amounts of data. It's all about speed, scalability, and maintaining state. Flink is a distributed system that can handle enormous workloads, and it's exceptionally fault tolerant. Even if a machine crashes, your data is safe, and your results remain consistent. Speaking of integration, Flink plays well with others. It has connectors for various components, from message brokers to databases. Companies like Netflix, Airbnb, and eBay rely on Flink for critical applications. And here's the exciting part. Flink is open source and incredibly active. It's a leader in terms of community engagement, with tons of contributions and a vibrant community. Now, let's get to the heart of our course, stream processing. What is it, you ask? Well, stream processing isn't about Netflix and chill. In the world of big data, it's all about handling data as it flows in, rather than waiting for chunks of it to accumulate. Think of it this way. In batch processing, data is sliced into chunks and processed periodically, causing delays and potential loss of real team insights. But in stream processing, we handle data continuously as it arrives, ensuring no valuable information slips through the cracks. To understand this better, let's compare it to batch processing. In batch processing, data is logged periodically, often hourly, and analyzed later. This leads to delayed results, resource spikes, and potential inaccuracies when a session crosses those artificial boundaries. In stream processing, we avoid these issues. We process data as it arrives, ensuring timely insights, a smoother resource load, and correctness in results. The key here is how we manage state, a critical aspect we'll explore further in this course. Stream processing addresses these drawbacks by processing data as it is being generated. This eliminates the need to collect and store data in batches, which reduces latency and improves efficiency. Now, why should you care about stream processing? It's not just a theoretical concept. Stream processing opens up exciting possibilities. Streaming ETL. Think of aggregating online store events in real time, avoiding the shortcomings of batch processing. Streaming analytics. Discover new insights from incoming data in real time, perfect for data analysts and scientists. Event-driven applications replace traditional databases with a fault-tolerant, scalable state storage for a wide range of applications. That's a wrap for this introductory video. So, stay tuned and let's master the world of Apache Flink together. See you in the next lesson.